Commissioner's Court. Today is Monday, November 14, 2016, and this is a regular meeting. And all members of the court are present, constituting a quorum, and this meeting is called to order. The invocation will be delivered by Commissioner Ken Pell, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Commissioner? I do, Father, thank you for being blessed this life. Thank you, Bill, Stead, for you conducting business in Hardin County. Give us the guidance and wisdom that we need to make good decisions. Pray that you would be with the ones that have been elected this year in all the different positions. Pray especially that you would be with our president, that he would look to you for guidance and wisdom and lead this country in a Christian manner. Forgive us of our sins. We say we ask Christ's name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Thank you, Commissioner. You're welcome. Item number three, Glenda Austin, County Clerk. Approval of minutes of prior meetings. Good morning, Ms. Austin. Good morning. That would be a regular meeting <coughs> on October the 24th and a special meeting on October the 31st. So moved. Second. A motion by Commissioner Roberts and a second by Commissioner Cooper. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Okay. Item number four, Deborah McWilliams, County Treasurer. Presentation and approval of registered claims to be canceled by the court. Good morning, Ms. McWilliams. Good morning. I'm asking the court to release me of the liability of $730,534.38. These are the vouchers. Um, that were related to the bills and payroll expenses presented on Commissioner's Court on October 24th. So moved. Second. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Cooper and a second by Commissioner Pelt. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. <coughs> Number five, Deborah McWilliams, presentation and approval of cash statement. In our general checking account, we have $308,071.97. In our investment account at Wells Fargo, we have $5,139,171.45. In our textbook account, $1,011,733.74 for a total cash fund of $6,458,977.16. move with for the cash statement. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. And I do want to say that uh, tax money <coughs> is starting to come in. We already? have uh, uh, already started receiving from the tax office pretty good chunks. So thank you. That's a good sign. Yes, ma'am. Item six, Deborah McWilliams, presentation and approval of quarterly reports. On the third quarter of 2016, the uh, ending balance for 930 of general checking is 552,514.43. Investment account, 4,938,795.89. Text pool, 2,511,120.59 for a total cash funds of 8,000,000. $2,430.91. It shows a decrease in the cash balance for the third quarter of $3,687,112.63. Move will approve the presentation. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Cooper and a second by Commissioner Pelt. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank and you, then Ms. I did Williams. give you the comparison report that compared the end of the quarters, the yes. end of September's for the last few years. Thank you. Thank you. Item number seven, Angela Gore, County Auditor, Payment of County Bills. Good morning, Ms. Gore. Good morning. The pre approved expenditures for October the 25th, 2016 were $58,603.27. The pre-approved expenditures for October the 26th through November the 1st were $153,894.58. The pre-approved expenditures for November the 8th were $30,001.71. And today, November the 14th, 2016, the expenditures for Commissioner's Court are $268,751.09. 
Total expenditures and transfers are $511,250.65. Gross payroll for October the 27th, 2016 was $431,819.20. Payroll taxes were $31,504.87. Retirement was $58,848.72. Total transfer for October the 27th. 2016 <coughs> payroll was $522,172.79. Gross payroll for November the 10th, 2016 was $444,102.95. <coughs> payroll taxes was $31,008.75. Retirement was $59,249. Total transfers for November the 10th, 2016 payroll was $514,360.70. Move with pay bill. <coughs> Sorry. I second. I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Cooper. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Ms. Gore. You're welcome. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. In the future, and if it's okay with the court on the uh, payroll, could we just read the total transfer for payroll each time instead of all the FICA and retirement and breakdown? We, we have it on our report, but as far as reading it for the minutes, can we just read the total? Anybody have a I'll objection to that? Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That'll get, be a little less reading for you. Thank you. Item number A, David Mendesable, Human Resources Director. Discussion and possible action to set the 2017 TCDRS <laughs> retirement rate. Good morning, Debbie. So we would take that uh, seven cents that we're saving and put it towards our retirement. Is that what you're yes, proposing? Yes, sir. I agree with that. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Felt and a second by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, Debbie. Mm -hmm. Item number nine, Teresa Wigley, Emergency Management Coordinator. Discussion and possible action for approval to solicit bids for consultant to apply for hazard mitigation grant program regarding a new generator for the courthouse annex building. Uh, Teresa couldn't be here today. I told her I would present this item. Uh, the the uh, generator that's at our annex building now is, uh, remind me, Commissioner Cooper, is 480 volts. Is that right? Yes, sir. The uh, capacity, whenever the electrical engineer looked at it, the capacity uh, was going to call for additional transformers at, at the uh, the new location, which was going to uh, run into, and I've got the figures in my office, I don't remember what it was. Around 80,000 to modify that generator. Of money, uh, <laughs> and once we got to looking into it, it, at his recommendation, it would be more feasible to purchase a new one instead of using that one and try to trade that one in. I don't remember the exact numbers that he gave. He estimated at seventy-five to eighty thousand for the modifications that would have to be done to use that generator at, at the building, and he said a new generator would be in the neighborhood of a hundred to hundred and ten thousand. This grant would be a seventy-five twenty-five match, so we would still spend a lot less money if we're able to get this grant to buy the generator. And the, uh, the, the solicit the grant would also cover the consult uh, consultants uh, fees as well. Excellent. So, Mr. Kirkendall, <coughs> second the motion, second by Commissioner Cooper. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion passes unanimously. <laughs> Item number 10, Amanda Young, floodplain administrator. Discussion and possible action for approval to solicit bids for consultant to apply for the Texas General Land Office CDBG-DR funds for the 2015 floods regarding possible buyouts. Ms. Young, how are Good you? Good morning. Good morning. Um, there's $22 million out there for the floods for last year. This is all for low income families and we have a few that qualify and would like to hire someone to apply for this grant. Now is that a match type grant? Or? It is 100 percent. So no if we match. if we hire a consultant does the grant pay that services as well? Yes sir. It so there's no cost that. to the county? Right. Well I like hearing that. Second. Right. Second. <laughs> so moved whatever. And a motion by Commissioner <laughs> Felt and a second by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 
Motion passes unanimously. And do we know how many uh, residents might qualify for this? Not at this time. We're going to have to put it out there for some people to apply. I know of three right now. And uh, what area are they, are they in? Uh, precinct two, okay. mainly. There's one in Precinct four on Cooks Lake Road. Okay. Thank All you. right. Thank you very much. Item number 11 is also Amanda Young, presentation of fourth quarter fiscal year 2016 report. And the uh, report also includes your annual. Yes. For our fourth quarterly report from July 1st, 2016 to September 30th, 2016, we issued 224 total permits, which included 115 electrical permits, 52 mobile home placement permits, 23 development permits, 25 culvert permits and nine industrial permits and I broke it down by each precinct and gave you the, the printout. The total permits for the fiscal year for 2015-16 is 899 total permits which include 425 electrical permits, 190 mobile home placement permits, 121 development, 134 culverts, 20 seven industrial permits and two subdivision permits. Great job. Thank you. Very well, thank you very much. Item number 12, Amanda Young, discussion and possible action to approve minor plat division of lots 17 and 18, <coughs> Beaumont Colony West, into four lots being 17A, 17B, 18A, and 18B. This is in Commissioner Cooper's precinct. Yes, sir. I'd like to test uh, with Amanda and also the uh, engineer has uh, approved it, so I would move that we accept this. Second. A motion by Commissioner Cooper and a second by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussions? Amanda's just waiting <coughs> to answer any questions y'all have. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number 13, Amanda Young. Discussion and possible action requested <coughs> to abandon or rescind alleyway on block 84 of Western Town Site Company subdivision located on Monument Road in Grayburg, Precinct 3 for future home development of property owner. And this is in Commissioner Pelt's area. Uh, Judge Court, this is an old town site that goes all the way back to the uh, early 1900s. And uh, the county does have the authority to uh, do this abandonment and rescind the alleyway so a house can be built on it. And I move that we rescind and abandon it. I have a motion by Commissioner Pelt and a second by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank, Thank you. you again. Item number 14, Chief Monica Kelly, Juvenile Probation Department. Discussion and possible action for approval to restructure the, restructure the juvenile detention personnel by creating three shift supervisor positions within the current budget. No additional funding being requested. Good morning, Ms. Kelly. Good morning. Good morning, Commissioner. Good morning. Joe. We had a change in detention personnel in July of this year. Our detention supervisor resigned and we moved our assistant up to the, the, the supervisor's position. At that time, it left our assistant detention supervisor open, which he worked straight days then. We looked at the budget, re, would, would like to restructure our personnel to include three shift supervisors, which would work days, evenings, and midnights. Those, those are the shifts we operate now. We're open 24-7, and that would give us a supervisor on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, at that point, we were looking at the money. Um, to move those three people up, they're at eleven ninety three an hour right now. If we put them at fourteen fifty an hour, that would still leave us quite a bit of money left in that salary line item, which would leave in the budget, but it, it would not put us over the budget as we stand. That, that shift supervisor would handle administrative training and scheduling. A lot of times in the middle of the night or on weekends, we get a call, somebody's sick, they can't come in, somebody's had a flat tire, they're gonna be late. Um, that would afford us the opportunity to have someone in the detention center at that time to be able to handle that. So we were asking to restructure our budget to include three shift supervisors. Would you use any of these three on call for the weekend? <coughs> They would be on call, yes, sir. Move to approve. Second. second. I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Roberts. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. 
Thank you, Monica. Okay. Item number 15, Commissioner Alvin Roberts, Precinct 4, permission to purchase and finance a CAT hydraulic excavator utilizing a cooperative purchasing program. So moved. Moved. Motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Pelt. Any discussion? Yes. Commissioner? Why you need this, Al? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question from you because I can't borrow yours all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything, Judge. I'm just messing with Al. <laughs> anything else? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number 16, consider an authorized purchasing agent to advertise for results or proposals for software program. I'm sorry, it's request for proposals for software program for all road and bridge precincts and permission to appoint a committee to evaluate the proposals submitted. So moved. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Kirk Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Pelt. And do we need to go ahead and name those committee members as part of the motion? I'm going to recommend that Commissioner Kirkendall serve on that committee and then the secretary of each road and bridge precinct, which will be four secretaries. Any other recommendations for that committee? All right, so can we make that as part of the motion, Commissioner Kirkendall? Oh, you know what? Could we have someone from the auditor's office okay. set in with us? Because um, if we uh, start talking about being able to correspond with your office on vouchers and stuff electronically, it would be. How about Candace? She's not here to say no, so we'll pick her. <laughs> All right, so the committee will consist of Commissioner Kirkendall, the uh, secretary or clerk of each road and bridge precinct, and Candace McKinney in the auditor's office. And is that okay to amend your motion to include that? Yes, sir. And seconded by Commissioner Pelt. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number 17, Misty Sims, purchasing agent. Authorization for county judge to sign copy or lease agreement with Xerox Corporation for the WIC department. I'll move. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Pelt and a second by Commissioner Cooper. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> motion passes unanimously. Item number 18, Misty Sims, discussing impossible discussion and possible action regarding the results of proposals received for the outside auditing firm. Ms. Good Sims, good morning. I was told it's, uh, hang on just a minute. Yeah, <laughs> peck a check is what I was told on the phone a little while ago. Uh, the evaluation committee met this morning with the full board and um, they can sit back. The evaluation committee is with Angela Gore, Commissioner Pelt, Kevin Hammonds, Monica Kelly, and Reverend McWilliams. And their recommendation <coughs> is that you go with Salvatore Salvatore. Okay, Commissioner uh, Pelt. Uh, we did meet, we discussed it very thoroughly. And the unanimous consensus of the committee was that we would go with Bell Harris Pichek or however you pronounce it, because we've been with Weaver and Associates, or used to be Herford Lynch, for over 10 years. We feel that for the protection of the public and the uh, uh, court, that it's time to make a change. And the estimated cost for $1,500 difference, and so we are recommending to go with Bell Harris. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Pelt and a second by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Misty, mm -hmm. wasn't Kevin sitting in Nothing's chair for that meeting? He said Smith also when we came to that name. Did it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> he sure did. Come on. <laughs> if I can't pronounce somebody's name, their name's Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's what Mr. Cummings does. Isn't it? <laughs> that's good. Item number 19, Misty Sims, permission to solicit qualification statements for engineering services regarding repair or replacement of the courthouse HVAC system. So moved. Second. second. I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall. Did you second? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Second by Commissioner Cooper. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. I have a motion by Commissioner Pelt and a second by Commissioner Kirkendall. This meeting's adjourned. Uh, Angela. Yes, sir. Sorry to throw that in your office. Oh, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. When will you meet? I was thinking about Wednesday. Because Candace is, is about to go on vacation.